Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Transitors here at StarCast in Chicago. With standing next to me, one of the legends of Women of Honors I have spoken about many times before. Yes, you are a legend. I feel pioneer. She is missing something right now around her waist. No, it's not the fanny pack. It's actually the Women of Honor Championship. Or over the shoulder, whichever you prefer. That is Mandy Leon. Mandy, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Doing good. Enjoying the festivities here. It's really exciting. I know you were here yesterday. I spoke to you. You're running on fumes right now. You're, 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 you're pushing through it right now. But honestly, from the experience you have from yesterday and today, what's the mood? What's the atmosphere like when you're meeting the public and they're meeting you? It's amazing. I love conventions like this where you get to meet fans from around the world and all the wrestlers come together. It's like a, kind of a family reunion. Uh, so I always look forward to these, and this is a historic weekend. We have all-in merchandise over here, too, along with mine. But uh, this is, I mean, oh, my God. Like, between all-in, are you guys here? Like, are, if you're watching this, why are you not here? Why are you here? This is amazing, yeah. Something that I wanted to ask, you kind of mentioned this before we started recording, was, you know, you know it was a long day for Mandy. She you know, didn't go to bed till like, 2 in the morning. But, you know, something I find interesting, when you do events like this, you go to conventions, you go to Comic-Con, or you're on the road with the Ring of Honor. Yeah. The hardest thing that I've come to realize when I'm traveling is you got to find good food and you got to find a place to work out. Oh, yeah. How do you balance that out? So here's the funny thing lately, right? I love food. And Who doesn't? my new thing is that I don't really believe in dieting anymore. I just eat because I love food and I don't feel like I should restrain myself from eating what I love because I'm crazy. I love pasta. I love bread. I love all of the bad things that you shouldn't like. So for now, I'm lucky, I guess, for jeans. But no, I do work out. Um, but when I'm on the road, I, I'm just so busy. It is hard to find places to eat, but I try. Uber. That's my answer. Uber. Uber Eats. Can you talk, <laughs> can you talk a little bit about the significance of this? I mean, a lot of people have been speaking about this historic event, which is going to happen at All In on Saturday, mm-hmm. of how it feels like the world of professional wrestling has kind of been revolutionized. We spoke a little bit about this during Supercard of Honor, where not only the women getting the recognition they finally deserve, but it feels like... Nowadays, as much as, you know, if WWE is your goal, great, but at the same time, there's so many other places to kind of hone your craft and build your brand. Do you feel in a sense that after the events of All In, it's kind of, at least at this point, revolutionized it, where now, maybe not necessarily WWE is the place to be, if that's your goal, great, but at the same time, there's so many other places out there to kind of distribute your content. Right, totally. Like, I think if WWE is your goal, a lot of people have that dream of, oh my God, I'm going to get into wrestling because I want to go to WWE. I want to be a WWE superstar. Um, and that's, that's a lot of people's goals, and that's so cool, but... Like, for me personally, I'm happy in Ring of Honor. Ring of Honor is my goal. Like, this this is where I'm making a change for women's wrestling. This is where I'm, you know, revolutionizing myself, so to say. And we've been doing that on the indie scene forever. It just kind of was more out there when WWE started doing it. So now, I mean, we've proven with All In. We've proven with Ring of Honor. We've proven with other companies that are out there that it's not just WWE. There's other companies out there that can be successful and they're selling out arenas. I mean, Ring of Honor just sold out Madison Square Garden in a few hours. Yeah, Yeah. so uh, it's not just WWE out there. And right now, uh, my goal is just to work my off in Ring of Honor. You can say it if you wanted to. My ass. I'm going to work my ass off in Ring of Honor. (laughs) That's where I want to be. So right now, I don't have any other goals but to just like you said get that belt around my waist around my arm so yeah now when it comes to, of course we i'm sure a lot of fans want to see that happen of course myself too i've been a huge advocate of your work love your style think you're one of the rising stars not only of women of honor but in the world Thank of women's you. wrestling out there i'm not just saying that because she's here guys if you believe that then you're probably right but um what I'm, what I'm interested in is that every single time there always seems to be an evolution. We're almost done with 2018. 2019 is going to be around, right around the corner. Madison Square Gardens, you know, believe it or not, going to be right there in April. For you, what have you done in yourself to improve not only your ability in terms of promoting yourself and branding yourself, but your in-ring style as well? Because you want to do this for a long time, but at the same time, the ultimate goal, not everybody can wrestle forever, risk anything happening that you can continually go out there and perform and do what you do. But have you been playing it ahead? Is there like an end, end game in mind? Uh, yes. For me, there's, there's this, you just never stop learning. And uh, for me, it's just always training. It's always putting yourself out there. Uh, in Ring of Honor specifically, I always say if there's ever a time that I can't wrestle, you'll see me doing other things on the show. I'm backstage filming promos for the guys. I'm writing things if I can. I'm helping sell merch. I'm doing whatever I can to put myself out there. Commentary. I'll do commentary at All In, and I'm doing commentary at Ring of Honor. I'm doing commentary at other shows. So Is that a just, different set of nerves? You, you spoke yeah, before yeah. that you're nervous when you go through that curtain to perform, right. but there are going to be different nerves out there. You're going to commentate for All In? My 
Oh God, for All In, yeah. That's that's a whole different thing. It's uh, actually Tennille and I are going to be doing commentary together, so that'll be fun. But uh, yeah, it's a different thing because it's not like you have the camera on you to where you can perform. It's just your voice. So you have to. It, it's a different. It's a different switch where you have to kind of entertain with your voice. <laughs> it's a different pacing um, too. Yeah, right? yeah. Which it, it's it's just different. So, but it's fun. It's really exciting. But yeah, like what you were saying, it's just. It's just all fun and games, and you never stop learning, and you keep putting yourself out there. And if there was ever a day, God forbid, where I can't wrestle, hopefully it's no time soon. No time soon, but I, you'll see me still in the business. Like I said, I'm putting myself out there to where I can do the marketing, where I could do the interviewing, where I could do the broadcasting, where I can help film, and, and that's that's what you want as a wrestler, is just to put yourself out there, so that whenever somebody needs something in a company, they say, "Oh, you're experiencing this. All right, well, we'll use you." And then before you know it, you're booked on the show. So yeah, you definitely want to be well rounded. So two quick ones for me. I thank you so much. Uh, at this point right now, where do you feel you still? I mean, one thing is about noting knowing your strengths, but being a very well rounded person is knowing your weaknesses too. What do you feel you still? If you have to pick one thing right now, you would still like to work on to be so much more better at. What would it be? That's hard. I would say just overall, just keep getting better as a wrestler. You know, I, I want to be the best that's out there right now and just keep building up who I am as a character. And the goal, again, it's that belt, just to get that belt. And once I have that belt, I'll know that I'm worthy of it and I'm the best in Ring of Honor. So that's 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 it. We'll be counting the days when that happens. One final one for me. You're here in Chicago. Have you had some deep dish pizza? <gasps> I haven't. I just got here yesterday, and I came straight to the convention, and today I had to, too, but I need pizza. I'm dying to try it. Is that a goal? Yes. Tonight, hopefully. <laughs> tonight, hopefully, she'll have some deep dish pizza. In the near future, yes. she'll have a Women's of Honor Championship round where that fanny pack is, guys. So thank you so much from the Trend Center, from Mandy Leon. Thank, thank you. you so much. Here we are at StarCast 2018.